When you think about hydrogen peroxide, you may imagine a ton of different things, depending on what mom or dad used it for during your childhood. There is a good chance that when you scraped a knee or nicked a finger, mom was there with the hydrogen peroxide to clean out the infection. Or perhaps you remember getting a case of swimmer's ear from spending all summer in the pool and having to bubble your ears out with the stuff. But hydrogen peroxide has so many more uses than just cleaning out minor infections. In this video, we're going to discuss 10 surprising uses of hydrogen peroxide you need to know. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Sanitize your cutting boards Wood cutting boards can develop small cuts in the surface that trap unhealthy bacteria. Unlike plastic, wood is porous and will warp and possibly crack if it's placed in the dishwasher. To clean and disinfect a wood cutting board without damaging it, spray it with white vinegar, wait 5 minutes, then wipe it down. Next, pour 3% hydrogen peroxide over the whole cutting board, distributing it evenly with a clean sponge or paper towel. Let it sit for another 5-10 to 10 minutes, then sprinkle salt all over, over the surface and rub it into the wood grain gently with half a lemon, which will soak up any remaining odors. Allow the lemony salt to soak into the wood surface for at least 10 minutes or overnight, then wipe the surface with a damp cloth and allow it to air dry. For the best results, buff the wood using food grade almond or walnut oil and wait 6 hours before use. Number 9. Whiten Teeth Using the hydrogen peroxide rinse will help whiten your teeth on its own, but if you want to take it a step further, using hydrogen peroxide and baking soda toothpaste can help even more. To make this, you'll want to mix a bit of hydrogen peroxide with a few teaspoons of baking soda, then keep adding baking soda until you get a nice paste. If you have a paste, apply it to your toothbrush and brush for about 2 minutes. Repeat daily for 2 weeks to see whiter teeth. After the initial 2 weeks, most experts recommend spacing out the hydrogen peroxide switch to once a week for maintenance. The American Dental Association ADA recommends consulting a dentist before using an at-home bleaching product like peroxide, especially if you have dark stains or many crowns and fillings. The most important thing to do after using the paste is to make sure you rinse it all out of your mouth. Number 8. Used to remove blood stains. Whether it's caused by a wound or period stains, clothes might get some blood on them at any given time in the home. While hand washing might help fade the stains, it'll completely not remove them. In such a scenario, it helps if you can get hydrogen peroxide. To remove blood stains from clothes, yes, even white ones, pour the hydrogen peroxide directly onto the stain and let it sit for several minutes. Rinse the area and repeat as many times as necessary to completely erase the discoloration. Then, when you throw your whites in the washer, add a cup of peroxide to the wash to further whiten and brighten the affected clothing, towels, sheets, etc. You can also do the same on furniture, simply wipe off the area, then pour some drops of the H2O2 on the area. After a while, you can wipe it off and your seat will be as good as new. Number 7. Fresh and Bad Breath if you've ever had bad breath that just lingers no matter how well you brush or floss, you may want to try something a bit stronger. Repeat daily for two weeks to see whiter teeth. After the initial two weeks, most experts recommend spacing out the hydrogen peroxide swish to once a week for maintenance. The American Dental Association ADA recommends consulting a dentist before using an at-home bleaching product like peroxide, especially if you have dark stains or many crowns and fillings. Since hydrogen peroxide fights and kills bacteria, it can be a really effective solution. To make a hydrogen peroxide mouthwash, all you need to do is mix equal parts of hydrogen peroxide and water and swish it around your mouth for a minute max. You can also gargle it to get the bacteria near the back of your throat tonsils. Another benefit to gargling the peroxide mouthwash is that it can help relieve a sore throat and loosen the mucus near the back of your throat. Now, although this is generally completely safe, it's important that you never swallow the mixture and you shouldn't use it too often either. 
If you notice that your teeth are becoming more sensitive or your gums are getting bleached, try diluting the solution further or using it less. This hydrogen peroxide rinse can also help treat those annoying and painful canker sores that sometimes show up in your mouth. Number 6. Get garbage out of pet stomachs Dogs love to eat things. They love to eat things that are bad for them. If they've gobbled down some chocolate, some grapes, or anything else they shouldn't, one way to get them to hork it back up is to induce vomiting using hydrogen peroxide. Without a doubt, be careful doing this, because it's just as possible to harm your pal using this chemical. Measure a dose of 1 milliliter of 3% hydrogen peroxide per pound of your animal's weight up to 45 milliliters and use a turkey baster to administer it. This method works for dogs, cats, pigs, and ferrets. Number 5. Get rid of skunk stink Have a run-in with a stinky skunk? Hydrogen peroxide to the rescue. To deodorize clothing that has been sprayed, mix one part 3% hydrogen peroxide with six parts water. Don't make the solution any stronger, as hydrogen peroxide can damage textile fibers. Soak the stained clothing in the solution for an hour or two, rinse it thoroughly with cold water, then launder it in a cold setting. If you or your pet has been sprayed by a skunk, combine a quart of 3% hydrogen peroxide, half cup of baking soda, and one teaspoon of dishwashing detergent. Using a rag, rub yourself or pet down, avoiding eyes in sensitive areas. When the odor subsides, rinse the clean water outside ideally to remove as much of the mixture and odor as possible before coming back inside. Number 4. Improve eyesight by cleaning contact lenses While traditional multi-purpose cleansers can get the job done, specialty cleansers that include hydrogen peroxide have been shown to clean, disinfect, remove clinging proteins, and more for better eyesight and more comfort during wear. However, you can't just go adding hydrogen peroxide to water and then leaving your lenses in it for a night. The caustic elements of the chemical have to be neutralized through a chemical reaction too complex to explain here, or you'll end up with far, far worse things going on than just blurry contacts. Make sure to follow the instructions on your cleaner for the best results. Number 3. Disinfect Fresh Produce Protect yourself from harmful bacteria that can live on produce with mild hydrogen peroxide and household vinegar. Spray first with 3% hydrogen peroxide, then with white vinegar and rinse well. A test performed by a food scientist at Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University found that combination of the two solutions killed bacteria like E. coli, Listeria, and Salmonella better than either solution on its own. The scientist said, What she really likes about this method is that every microbe that drips off is killed, which means you won't spread contamination to cutting boards and food prep surfaces she also found that there's no lingering taste or smell from either solution. Number 2. Brighten Dingy Whites Hydrogen peroxide comes in handy while doing laundry, especially when it's time to wash white linens and clothing. To brighten up dingy whites, add one cup of hydrogen peroxide directly to your washing machine as you would bleach. While hydrogen peroxide has a similar lightning effect, it's more eco-friendly than using chlorine bleach. It also works well as a stain remover when dealing with protein-based or plant-based stains. Apply hydrogen peroxide to the affected area and let it sit for 10 minutes before throwing the piece in the wash. Number 1. Remove Carpet Stains Having white carpets should be something reserved for places where children, pets, and coffee do not exist. But if you happen to have a light-colored carpet, Hydrogen peroxide should be an under-the-sink staple in your house. Not only can the solution help to remove all different kinds of stains, from pet to red wine and more, but it can also help to whiten them. Use an empty bottle and fill it with 5 ounces of hydrogen peroxide and 1 ounce of Dawn dish soap. Shake the bottle lightly to mix both liquids and spray it on the affected area of the carpet. Let the solution sit for a couple of minutes and scrub in with a clean rag. Then spray with a water bottle that contains pure H2O and wipe again until all of the cleaning solutions is gone. Repeat until you can no longer see any visible stains. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click on the next video clip to watch for more health info. Thank you very much.